Hello, I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to another in the series of challenges that we're setting throughout the next week. Today we're going to learn how to make a catapult. I realise that many of you have access to different resources in your homes, so we're going to look at two different catapults to make today. For the first catapult we'll need a box similar to this. This had a kitchen appliance in it, but you can use any box, like a shoe box, or an Amazon delivery box, anything similar that you have lying around your home. As you can see, I've cut out the top of the box and also one of the sides. What you'll also need are two pencils or equivalents. I've got one pencil and one chopstick. You'll also need a lid from a plastic bottle, some elastic bands and some sticky tape. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to put some holes in the side of the box. Now you may need a sharp knife for this, so you may want to get an adult to help you with this stage of the build. I used a hole punch um, to make my holes, so I didn't have to get my parents involved. The hole needs to be about a quarter of the way along the length of the box, away from the open end. I now have two holes in the box, so once I've made those holes, I thread through the chopstick. There we go. The next thing we need to do is to put the launch pad onto the pencil. So we're going to put this on at the sharp end of the pencil and we're going to use some sticky tape to actually do that. So we need to make sure that when we do this it's securely on the end of the pencil. Uh, because we don't want it to fall off when we launch the catapult. So there we go, nice and secure. Take it round. That's it. And there we have it. Okay, the finished article. We now need to attach this to the chopstick. This is where the elastic bands come in. As you can see I've tied two elastic bands together to get the required length. So how do we do this? Well we use a square lashing. So we're going to pop the elastic band over the end of the pencil and then go up and under and keep doing that to make sure it's secure. And then we're going to just tighten it up by wrapping it around a couple of times, like so. We need to make sure that the launch pad is facing upwards, obviously. And then when we feel that's tight enough, we can just tie it off on the end of the pencil, like so. And there we have our completed catapult. Of course, there's one thing left to do, and that is make sure it works. So we need to find some missiles. I've got a piece of pasta here. I'm going to place it into the launch cradle and then take hold of the end of the pencil and then go. Fantastic. I think that worked quite well. Hello. The second catapult we're going to make is sometimes known as a Viking catapult. And it's certainly for outdoor use. So what we'll need for this are some garden canes or similar but they all need to be of roughly the same sort of length. We're going to use some elastic bands and we also need a disposable cup. For the first part of the build we're going to make the base of the catapult. Now this is a triangular structure so the first thing we need to do is to fasten two lengths of cane together. So I've got my two lengths of cane here and I'm going to use several joined together elastic bands to actually um, join these together. So I'm going to use a diagonal type lashing. So if I put the elastic over one of the ends and then go around, getting it reasonably tight. Let's go 
around a couple of times just to really get that tight join and then finish it off by just putting the elastic over one of the ends and there you have it the first part of the base. So I did say that the base was a triangle so we obviously need to put another cane onto this structure however in best Blue Peter tradition here's one that I made earlier you can see that I've just used the same technique uh, of diagonal lashing to add the additional cane. So that's our base over there. Okay, to make the tripod, we need to join two canes together. So here's our previously joined together canes. And we need to add the third cane to that. So similar technique before, we take a length of elastic band and pop it over one of the ends. And then we just weave in and out of the three canes until we've got something that is reasonably tight. There we go, in and out, round about. And then to finish it off, similar to before, just over the end, maybe do one more. There we go. And there we have our tripod. Okay, so we have our two independent structures now, we now need to put them together to make the base of the catapult. And the way we do that is again using lengths of elastic and using the diagonal lashings that we've previously used. Now this is a bit tricky and it does take some time so feel free to sing, whistle, dance while I do this. As I said before I'm using lengths of elastic to do this but if you don't have any elastic string is a good alternative so then just go round structure make sure it's reasonably tight and then just tie it off on one of the ends like so okay so you can see we're almost there, we've almost got a freestanding catapult base. There we go. So at the moment all we've built is a tripod. Now to make it a catapult we need to make the firing mechanism. And for this again we're using some uh, lengths of elastic bands. If you have some nylon elastic in the house, some cord, iron cord, then you could use that as an alternative. So we take one of the lengths of elastic and we just add it onto the top of the tripod, like so. Then we take the other bits of elastic, we put one at the bottom of the airframe. We're about, probably about a fifth of the way up and then we do exactly the same on the opposite leg of the airframe right so that's the start of the firing mechanism the next bit is to make the missile cradle and this is where the plastic cup comes in. So what you need to do is to make three holes evenly spaced around the edge of the cup. I've used a sharp knife um, so you may want to get an adult to help you with this part of the build. Once you have the three holes in you then need to take an elastic band Thread it through the hole. This did go better in rehearsal. Tie it off like so. And as you can see, I've already done that for the two other holes that I've made in the cup. We now have the cup. We now need to attach it to the catapult frame. 
and this is where the elastics that we uh, put on earlier, this is where they um, come in useful. So it is just a question of taking the end of the elastic band and just tying it on with a knot. It does need to be fairly secure because what we don't want to happen is for this to come undone when we're trying to fire a missile. Okay, so now we're putting the last, making the last connection for the cup. It's a bit tricky because it is quite tight now. I've got all elastics tied. And there we have it. There is our fully formed catapult. Now, have I finished? Well, the build is finished, but does it actually work? Well, let's find out. I have here a table tennis ball, which I'm going to use as my missile. I place it in the missile cradle and we hold on to the structure, pull it back. So the table tennis ball worked fairly well. How about this pine cone? Let's try this. One, two, three. So you see you can use a wide variety of objects as missiles. Now thank you for watching um, these two catapult builds, I hope you enjoy making them, I'll certainly enjoy watching the results of your efforts.